Eli, I thought you said you were taking care of that credit card. Well, I just got off the phone with them. So that's how it is now. But you promised me. Fine. Hey, Tony, um, I didn't hear you come in. Yeah, of course you didn't. You was a little busy over there with old boy. Tony. Andrea. All right, come on. You know, I, I don't want to argue. Can we just talk, please? Like I told you a couple of weeks ago, we don't have anything to talk about. I'm just coming in here to get my things, and then I'm going to go. Okay, so that's it. You're just going to walk out on everything? After seven years, everything that we built, that's it? So easily? <laughs> You got to be kidding me, right? You got to be kidding me because do you even realize what I'm going through? Yes, it has been seven years, seven years of my life that I spent trying to love you the way you're supposed to be loved. But yet we still end up here. And now you got the audacity to try to turn this all around on me, trying to talk about what I let go. No, you was the one that let this go a long time ago. Honey, it's not like that, but you're not even giving me a chance to explain. Explain what? Did I not stand here just a few weeks ago and listen to that man give me everything in detail? So what is it that you need to explain? You want to explain how you were seeing another man the entire time you were seeing me? Tony is not like that. I was not seeing him like that. How many more was it? How many more you got out there? Or was he just the only one that you fell in love with and then run around sleeping with while you was telling me that you were still in love with me? I was not sleeping with him. It wasn't like that, okay? <laughs> you know what? what kind of woman do you think I am? <laughs> Obviously, I don't know what kind of woman you are. Because the woman that I would have married, no, that ain't it. She would have never done anything like that. And I'm not crazy. I was right here when that man was staking his claim on you. When he made sure that I knew that he never got over you and that you never got over him. So you want me to believe that y'all wasn't sleeping together? Then what were you doing? Having Bible study meetings? Tony, I needed him. <laughs> you needed him. You had me, but you needed him? <laughs> okay. I didn't think it'd get any worse than that. <sighs> Tony, I'm broke. What? Listen, you know, Elijah is right, okay? Anytime I needed anything when we were together, he just did it. It didn't matter what it was, anything at all. He took care of it. And even after we broke up, he kept offering. And at first, I said no. Yeah, at first. But how long did that last, huh? Tony, will you just listen to me? I know that it doesn't make sense, okay? But when your back is oppressed against the wall, you'll just make foolish choices. Tony, when I met you, I, I didn't think you would take me seriously for long. I didn't think that I was enough, that I had enough to offer. And I knew who your ex was. She's beautiful, had a career, good credit, money to spend, well put together. The kind of woman that you marry. So I knew in order to keep you, I had to be perfect. That was the only way to compete with her. And I tried to be the perfect girlfriend. I'm not perfect. And when the crack started showing up in my life and coming so fast, I knew that you wouldn't stay with me. I was just too afraid that you would leave me. Tony, I am in such major debt. I, I don't have anything to give you because I don't have anything. My credit cards are maxed out. I've taken out more loans than I have the money to pay it back. The studio is doing okay, but not great. 
And my rent went up a few hundred dollars. And my money has not changed. If I don't pay them soon, they're going to kick me out. Why do you think I wanted to move in so quickly? And we're supposed to be buying this house together. You could see my credit score right now. Just life and finances is just kicking my butt, and I didn't know what to do, okay? And he was there pressuring me, telling me that he could take care of it and take care of me. So I made a stupid choice. So you went to another man for help, just so you can stay with me? <laughs> Come on, Drea. You know me better than that, right? And yeah, my ex had a whole lot going on for her. But that had absolutely nothing to do with you. I was with you because I saw something in you that I wanted to grow with. You was in competition with yourself because you was the only one that you had to stand up against. Now, if I wanted to get with my ex or any other woman out there, I could have. But I chose you. And I thought you chose me. I didn't need or want anything from you but you. Tony, I know that, but come on. There are no buts, Drea. You didn't trust me with all of you. Yeah. Life is crazy out there for a lot of people, not just you. And I wouldn't have been surprised by some debt. Everybody got debt. We could have worked through your financial issues together. Come on, Tony. Can we just be honest? He didn't have it like that. And to Elijah, it is literally just money. <laughs> you know what? I don't have it like that. I don't. And <laughs> but what I do have, I work really hard for it. And just like you said, it's just money. It doesn't mean anything to me. Because I would have given you my last and gone to the end of the earth to get more because you was the woman that I love. But you didn't give me a chance, did you? You just ran to the other man. Just sold yourself to the highest bidder. And for what? To get some bills paid? How did that work out for you? Tony, I did not sell myself. I just couldn't see any other way out. You have to understand this. You've never just been so overwhelmed. The world is falling down on you and the walls are closing in. Tony, I was drowning. And meanwhile, all I wanted, all I ever wanted was to be enough for you. So I took a big risk. Yeah, I took a big risk. Okay, so you use him. You use him. You get your bills paid, your credit's good, everything's done, then what? What was the end game here? Did you think this man was going to spend all this time with you? Spend all this money on you and then he was just going to walk away? Then what about me? Oh, I wasn't supposed to find out about any of this, right? And then we were supposed to live happily ever after. This was all supposed to be good, right? Now let me tell you something about gambling, Drea. You don't always know where the cars are going to fall. And this time... Those cars didn't fall in your favor. But let me tell you something. You had a good hand, an amazing hand, a guaranteed winning hand. But you was just, you were so busy sitting there competing against someone that wasn't even on the table that you forgot about what you had and you didn't trust in what you had. You didn't trust in what we had. You just took your hand and threw it in and went and started playing another game. Tony, it doesn't have to all be over, right? I, look, I, I know, I know that I made a big mistake, a terrible one. But I know I love you and you love me. All I ever wanted to do was to love and take care. That's all I wanted. But now, it's time for me to take care of myself. And you need to do the same. 
mommy, why can't we do that together? Okay, we can, we can go to counseling, we can go to church, whatever you want to do, baby, please just don't, don't give up on us because I just, I love you so much. I love you so much. Drea, I love you too. But sometimes that's just not enough. Tony, it can be, please, please. I'll get the rest of my things later. Tony. Bye, Julia.